This one's just for you. Just for you. Tracy Boards. This is me giving a first impressions of their new five hole board. That's gonna be available at some point. I don't know how often he'll make them because he uses his seconds to do them. But the five hole board is an absolute blast. It's so good. So I have a crokinole board at my house. It's a Tracy board, crokinole board. The primary way in which I teach people is usually one on one. And it's so much fun. My favorite dexterity game. I absolutely love it. I would play it for hours if anybody wanted to. It's, it's a blast. However, there is a way to play that I think is really, really engaging and fun for new people, and that's doubles. And that's where, instead of having two people facing off against each other at opposite shooting lanes, you actually have those two people on the team, and then crosswise, you know, perpendicular from them, the other two people on a team. And so instead of having this chess match where you're playing someone across from you and you can try to sometimes hide your disc or make it inconvenient for them across from you, it's much harder to do that because the two people you're actually trying to compete with are directly to either side of you, which means if you miss or if you get something behind the posts in Crokinole, they have a much better angle than the person across from you. So it actually creates a whole new dynamic in which to play. I love doubles. Doubles play is so much fun. There's a lot of interaction around the table. It's an absolute blast. It does make sense to have a circular or hexagonal table that's like not a full-size dining table if you're going to do doubles just for the sake of the amount of space um, and to, to make it easier for everyone to play. But I love doubles in Crokinole. And now there's another way to play it, which is this five-hole board. So in traditional Crokinole, you have the outer ring, which is the shooting line, and the way in which everybody's going to shoot their buttons or their discs into the center. And then beyond that, you have three or four scoring zones. You have the five-point ring, which is the very outer section. You have the ten-point ring, which is the one just beyond, beyond or just in front of the posts. And then within the posts, you have the most inner concentric circle, which is the 15-point range. And at the very center, you have the 20-hole. And if you ever make it in the 20 hole, that button or that disc actually comes off the board and into a scoring zone. With the five hole board that we were playing whenever Tracy came up in, what what month are we? It was in July. It was the beginning of this month because this is still July. When he brought up this new board, in, just outside of the posts, in that 10 point ring, there are four additional holes that are the same size as the 20, 20 hole, except they're negative 10 holes. So in traditional Crokinole, the way that you score is you don't want to leave any points on the board for your opponents. Um, and if you've played anything like bulls or shuffleboard or anything like that, that should make sense. You don't want your opponents to really be in any scoring zone. Or cornhole is another one. Um, and so in this one, Traditional crokinole play, you're trying to remove your enemy's buttons or discs from the board. And so it's a little bit more of a cleaner board, typically, especially the higher skill level you get, because you're trying to keep yours on and knock everybody else's out. Or sometimes knock yours out in the mission of getting rid of somebody else's points. Cleaner board. With a five hole, that's not actually the case because it's more it's more beneficial to you point wise to actually keep discs on the board or buttons on the board of your opponents so that you have the leverage and the angles in which to knock them into these negative ten holes. So the board becomes so much busier, so much busier because you're always angling to instead of them just getting no points to, for them to get negative ten points, which is a much heftier penalty for them to pay. So it, it changes up the dynamic of how you actually shoot on the board way, like, so much. And it creates a whole new experience, enough so that to me it justifies having an additional board. So I, I will at some point try to get a five-hole board from, you know, Tracy and Crokinole boards. This would be probably the first time that I break the 
trying not to buy any games in the space of a year. Because so far, if you count the expansion that I bought for Forbidden Stars, I haven't actually purchased a new game. Except for the stuff that I buy for subscribers, the gifts and stuff like that. That, obviously, you know, I already don't count. But this was so much fun. I had an absolute blast playing Crokinole. Um, oh my goodness, I, I want to play on that five-hole board again. I also just really enjoyed playing against Jeremy Tracy. Jeremy Tracy is just a fantastic human being. I really, really liked spending time with him. And, oh man, it's so much fun. So, if this is my first impressions for a five-hole board while I eat cocoa-dusted almonds out of a cat food bowl, I guess I would say... Having a whole new way to play a game that I love is insane. It's so much fun. So much fun. And I like it so much that I'm not even questioning the additional purchase and the additional storage on a wall somewhere, because I'm going to get another wall mount for it, of having another crokinole board. Like, it's, it's not even a question. It's going to happen. I just don't know when. So much fun. I have some gameplay that should be coming up at some point for Crokinole. But, yeah, I don't know, like, when that's going to be. Because it's overall off. It's it's on all the SD cards uh, for Jesse and Shira. I really should get to the point where I have enough SD cards that I travel with them. So that if I film stuff at Jesse and Shira's, I actually have the SD card. That, that, that's a thing I need to actually do. I need to actually do that. And I need to do that before Gen Con so that if I film anything at their place after Gen Con, I have it. I'm learning, guys. Slowly. Very slowly. Painfully slow. I'm learning. Alrighty. I love you guys. Crokinole boards. They're amazing. That's all I have to say. Bye.